welcome to my third video log for Term 3. I hope you enjoyed our last week's log on the Aspire program. Today I'm joined by Michael Miller, Year 9 Coordinator and Director of our Volleyball program at school, and our squad captains, Alana and Matt, who are captains of our, our senior boys and girls team. And um, we're here today to talk about volleyball at the school, but particularly to celebrate the fact that we're now state champions as a result of the, um, the tournament that was held a couple of weeks ago. So welcome to everyone. You. Michael, you've been um, running our volleyball program since the mid-1990s. Can you tell us a little bit about how it all started? Uh, well, actually, I'd come from another school where I'd been running a volleyball program, and when I came here, I thought, oh, gee, I'd like to start one up here. And I actually started with a primary school set of um, boys and they finished grade six and went into year seven and coincidentally that's when I started year seven coordinating. And we got together and we went along very, very green and played states and I think we were in division two under 15s or under 14s and we actually finished third I think and we were quite surprised and then someone suggested we go in the nationals and we did. So that's how it began. And it's grown enormously over the last 20 years, hasn't it? You must be really proud of the result from a couple of weeks ago where for the first time for a good while now we were state champions of Victoria. I never expected it to get, to get quite this big. There was a stage where we got to about five teams and I thought, oh, this is almost too much for me to handle. So how many teams did you take to the state titles? Uh, this year we took ten. Uh, which is about our, our limit, given uh, the, our resources and things like that. So, so that's five boys and five girls teams? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Alana and Matt, you're captain of the boys and girls team respectively. Tell us how you went in the, um, the state titles a couple of weekends ago. Uh, we, we had a pretty strong team this year. We've sort of been pretty successful over the years and we were undefeated up until the gold medal match, but then um, just missed out against Altham, but get them. So you finished with a silver medal? Yeah, silver medal, still pretty happy. Yep. Yeah. And Alana? We actually finished quite the same as them. We were undefeated the whole tournament, had a pretty crazy ride until the grand final and we unfortunately lost in five sets. And uh, how long have you guys been playing for? Since year seven? Yeah. 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 And um, what's, what's been some of the highlights for you in terms of your volleyball career at Villanook? Um, really, I've been enjoying like meeting so many people because it's such like a massive community like everyone from different schools just all gets together and everyone becomes friends and joining all the state programs and all that kind of stuff is just like a really awesome achievement to do throughout your life. Matt, have you, have you, I'm imagining that you've played volleyball since year seven with a lot of the same students? Yeah, I was originally not part of the team in year seven, but um, Miller scouted me out at year seven camp and decided that he felt I needed to play. You, you were tall enough, were you? Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. I, was, I was tall back then. <clears throat> And then we went on to win nationals in 2011 at Schools Cup, which was easily the biggest achievement we've had. Um, but yeah, like I've said, the community around volleyball, I'm still really good friends with a lot of the ex-volleyballers at the yep. and I play volleyball with them still. Yep. So that's it. And um, tell us a little bit about what you're hoping to do next year. Uh, like a lot of previous Billanoid volleyballers, I'm trying to go over to college in Canada or America. Um, they have a pretty big volleyball program, especially in Canada and they give a lot of scholarship money out to Year 12 schools. So, so you're hoping to play for a university team? Yeah, go over there, study for a few years, and then either come back and start uni here or go over to Europe and try and play professionally. Yeah. We, were, we were talking about the state titles, which have occurred a couple of weeks ago, but Matt, you mentioned that you won a national title a couple of years ago. When, when do the nationals occur, Michael? They're usually in about the first or second week of December, so we're sort of planning now for December. So teams would travel from, from where? Well, it's held in Melbourne because we're the only ones with the facilities big enough because we host it at the uh, Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre. Uh, they, they're coming from all over Australia and internationally we have teams come from New Zealand. Uh, I do remember that the uh, Japanese under-19 team came and played out here in, in our competition. So it's actu actually, they call it an Australasian Cup. So what, what's your highest achievement at Nationals, Alana? I think probably, yeah, silver or bronze. Yeah, okay. Most years it's hard to keep track, really, mm. because <clears throat> we've got so many medals. Yeah. Goodness. So we've got a long history, haven't we, Michael, of yeah. students doing really well at school, but also... Going well, we'll be ranking the top five schools in Australia right yes. now. Yeah, and Which is quite an amazing achievement, isn't it, really? Well, for, for a small school, yes. small school that runs its volleyball program 
out of a one court. Well, we're, we're, well that's right. Podium. We're actually competing against schools that actually are able to attract students because they actually run volleyball as a subject. Mm. And they're, they're doing eight and ten hours worth of training a week, if not more. And we do one and a half hours a week. Yeah, yeah. And um, people might know, but every morning Michael has a team training at school that starts at about quarter to seven. Usually probably two teams we have. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're training every morning, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about the national titles at the end of the year. Um, we'll enter 10 teams again, I'm guessing? We'll enter 10 teams. You, uh, to, uh, to compete at nationals in honours, you actually have to finish in the top three in your state. So we've managed to do that. So our two open teams, our under-16 boys and our two under-15 boy and girls teams will play in honours. Uh, there are no honours for under 14, so the boys and girls will just play in Div 1. Uh, our under 16 girls will play in Div 2. Our under 17 girls will play, and our under 17 boys will play in Div 1. Um, from your perspective, tell us a little bit about the influence that Michael's had on your volleyball journey, but also beyond that in terms of your growth as people as well, because he's been really an important part of of your time at school, hasn't he? Tell us a little bit about... Well, for me, like he's, I've known him before I was even at Villanoff because my brother and sister have been through the volleyball program and I've always looked up to him. And even before I was here, he already had me signed up and <laughs> ready to go and I really wanted to play because he always just made sure he was out on the hard courts or in the gym with us. Just getting like, whenever we wanted to be out there, we would just get practice with him. He's been like such a great mentor and personally, like, I've always been able to talk to him about like anything that I need. It was like schoolwork or if I'm feeling like down or anything. He's always been there for me, so he's really like been a great mentor for me. Mm. And Matt, yeah, since <coughs> we had him as our coordinator between Year Seven and Nine, so we obviously got to know yep, him even yep. better. But um, yeah, especially since I've been in Year Seven, he's been there six, seven, eight trainings a week, every lunchtime, putting in so much hours yep. for everyone, and he's never yep. lacked the you know love of the game and helping out these kids. I mean, how many, how many times you train five, five mornings a week, but you're always out on the hard courts at lunchtime? I, I sat down and worked it out one time that I'd done 340 sessions for the year. Yeah. Um, which, when <coughs> I looked at it like that, yeah. no wonder my wife gets annoyed <laughs> at me. And, and I think that's important to acknowledge, isn't it? Yeah. That Michael's helped by a lot of people, but any successful program, whether it be volleyball or, or anything in life, needs someone that really leads it strongly and um, I know our community is really grateful for what Michael's done and what we'll continue to do as well. And Michael, where to from here? What, what do you see us achieving in the next 10 years? Uh, well, hopefully we continue to perform as strongly as we are, are at the moment. Um, I just don't have enough arms and legs, I wish I did, mm -hmm. and um, you know, just, I just need more area really to, to practice. Okay, well, thanks to Alana, Matt and Michael, and I hope you've enjoyed having a, a bit of a look at what we do in volleyball. I think having a really well-rounded experience at school has clearly been important for Matt and Alana, and um, I think that's one of the great things about Villanook is that you can do a whole range of, of different things, whether they be sporting or artistic or creative or cultural, and I think ultimately it, it makes our students better people. So. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Alana. Thanks, Matt. And um, good luck at the Nationals. Thank you. Well done.